Where is Hashtag? Should we do that at the end, Lati? Yeah. The the end? At the end? At the end? The five precepts? Did you want to do that? It depends on your own thing. Okay, okay. Thank you, Lati. Thank you, Lati. Namo tassa. Namo tassa. Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Namo tassa. Bhagavato Arahato Sama Sambuddhasa. Consciousness. What do you get at the aggregates? In the case of the clinging aggregate of feeling, in the clinging aggregate of perception, 
There are only one type of mental factor, feeling in perception. When both that dot aggregate, the reason is, in this case, what is the clinging aggregate of materiality, or what is the clinging aggregate of feeling, perception, etc. In Khanda Vaga, there is one Sauta called Khanda Sauta, and that Sauta Buddha is playing. Yagenshi Rupa Dida Nagata Pichopana Ijatama Bhaidama Ararikawa Sukuma Vahinama Bhaidama Yandure Sandikewa Sasa Ubadaniya Ayya Ucheti Rupa Bhadane Khanda In this way Buddha is playing. What is the Glinga Aggregate of Madhirabhi? Whether it is past or present or future, internet or external, cross or subtle, inferior or superior part or near, all 11 types of clinging aggregates, which are the object of taste, is called the clinging aggregate of materiality. In the same way, the clinging aggregate of feeling, perception, etc., also both are taught in the same way. So, although feeling and perception are one mental factor, there are 11 types past feeling, present feeling, future feeling, internet is kind of feeling, gross or sub subtle feeling, inferior or superior feeling, far or near feeling, all 11 types of feeling are called the linear aggregate of feeling. In the same way, the 11 types of perception are called the clinging aggregate of perception. So because of this reason, all 11 types of clinging aggregates are called Dukkha, Sitya, the Nova Truth of Suffering. According to Buddha's teaching, materiality, clinging aggregate of materiality, rest as small body gas called Kalabas. If you want to see this Kalabas, if you want to analyze this Kalabas, how you should practice? You must Practice four elements meditation systematically. If you practice four elements meditation systematically one day, you can see clubbers. And then, other than you should analyze this clubbers. Other than only you will understand ultimate materiality, ultimate truth. This is one of them. Feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness, they are mental aggregates. In each mind moment, the, these four mental aggregates rise together, cease together, depending on the same place, they rise together, they gain the same object. There are six, they arise, yet there are two types of mental aggregates or mentalities. Cognitive process mentality and process free mentality. In one life, past going up like Kundinia is called what linking consciousness. Last going up mind state is called death consciousness. They are same type. Between birth and death, if there are no cognitive process, at the time going up mind state arise to maintain the life, or not to cease mentality. When any cognitive process arises, is like continuous stop. When any cognitive process ceases, then like continuous arise again. In this way, the whole life, life continuum maintain not to cease mental process, mental series. So these two types of mentality also you must discern. There are six two cognitive process. I do cognitive process. I do ear do nose do tongue do body do mind do cognitive process. Six cognitive process. You must discern all these six two cognitive processes. But they arise according to series only. For example, I do cognitive process. 
if the object was a clear object. If you want to design this angle cognitive process, first you must design a transparent element. Secondly, you should design point up mind of. Then thirdly, you should design a group of small particles color. We color in which both toes. At the day, I do cognitive process will arise. And after I do cognitive process, there will arise when got mind states. After the mind do cognitive process also will arise taking color object. So, in I do cognitive process, number one is I do advise consciousness. Then, consciousness, then receiving consciousness, then investigating consciousness, then decision consciousness, then seven impulsions, and then after that to reach a starry mind consciousnesses. So according to this series they are usually arise. Sometimes object is not clear, then they may stop after the impulsion mind movement. Sometimes the object is more and more not clear, then they may stop at the decision consciousness by moment. Sometimes if object is more and more not clear, at the day, just vibrating of mind up only. So because of this reason, in each my moment, there are mental factors are always associated. At least, there are eight types of mental factors are always associated. In some mind moments, like embarrassing mind moment, there may be 34 mental factors are associated. When designing a demon mentality, you must try to understand this mind moment, these mental formations in each mind moment. So, in each mind moment, they take the same object. Except, I Consciousness mind moment. The other mind moments arise depending on heart pace. What is heart pace? If you design four elements in your heart, you can see four group of small particles. These particles are called calabas. If you analyze these calabas, then you can see a dimmed material. I consciousness and mental factors arise depending on eye pace. What is I base? If you want to understand I base, then you must get some four elements in I go. You will see only clubbers. And then if you analyze these clubbers, then you will understand ultimate truths, ultimate materialities. This I do community process takes the color object. Color arrays as a small body gas, clubbers only. If you analyze this clubhouse, you can understand ultimate materiality. So, for example, in I consciousness, my moment, face, it sense face is I transparent, I sensitivity face, <coughs> I transparent element. But this I transparent element has a small body gas clubhouse. If you analyze clubbers at the day only, you get understand ultimate materiality together with I transparent element and sensitivity. They are material degree. Color is also material degree. Then I consciousness is the aggregate of consciousness. There are seven mental factors, among seven mental factors. Feeling is the glingy brigade of feeling. Perception is the glingy brigade of perception. The remaining <coughs> five mental factors contain pollution, one pointedness, life continuing, attention, medicine, color. Life faculty, attention, medicine, color. All together, five mental factors, they are. The clinging aggregate of formations. The consciousness is the clinging aggregate of consciousness. All together, four mental aggregates. 
base of the is metal aggregate of uh, uh, glingate aggregate of metal aggregate all together in each mimo may pipe aggregates in the same way other mimo may also be pipe aggregates so if you want to understand pipe aggregates clearly then you should try to design in each mimo may every mimo may be a pipe aggregates these five aggregates we must try to understand. These five aggregates are the object of Vipassana. These five aggregates are called the noble truth of suffering. But not only present five aggregates, there are fast aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Future aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Internet or Islam. All are noble truth of suffering. Without understanding the noble truth of suffering, can you realize Nibbana or not? This is one question. Hmm? Another is second noble truth, the noble truth of the origin of suffering. In Vidyama Vibhinga Pali, number one, Craving is also called Samudhya Sit, Noble Truth of Suffering. Why? Craving is fundamental cause. If Arhat, by Arhat, but knowledge that's why craving, their commas cannot produce any more of that anybody. So, if there is still craving, then karma can produce a new existence. But if there is no craving, karma cannot produce any new existence. Because of this case, as a predominant factor, Buddha taught craving is Samudhya Siddha, the origin of Dukkha. But craving cannot rest alone. Always rest with associated mental formations. So, Seven to and ten types of defilements are also called Surya Sitya. But these ten types of defilements also cannot rise alone, single. They rise as a group with associated mental factors and consciousness. So, in that way, both that the all unwholesome dhammas, agosala dhammas are also called the Surya Sitya, the origin of suffering. For human beings, for devas and brahmas, also devas are main cause to produce new existence. So these also devas are not the origin of dukkha. So there is question because of this reason, Buddha also taught based on ignorance, craving, and clinging. If they accumulate also or also devas, these also and also devas are also called smuriya siddha the origin of suffering. Among these wholesome dramas, Buddha also emphasizes three roots, aloha, non-greed, adrasa, non-hatred, amoha, non-delusion. These three are important. So because of this reason, also Buddha taught, all unwholesome dramas in these three roots are also called sumuriya sitya. But it is also not enough. Why? These three roots cannot rise alone. They always rise with associated mental formations. So because of this reason, number five Buddha taught all wholesome dramas and wholesome dramas which can produce new existence are all called smuya sita, the noble truth of the origin of suffering. But again, the Thayarana Sada of Ingodra Nikaya, <coughs> Buddha taught smuya sita, the very origination is smuya sita. All wholesome dhammas and wholesome dhammas which can produce new existence are also called smudhya siddha. The meaning origination is also called smudhya siddha. They are same meaning. Same meaning means based on ignorance, craving, clinging, all wholesome and wholesome dhammas can produce new existence. In the same way, based on ignorance, sankara formations rise. Based on uh, depending on Sankara formations, 
we need a consciousness arise in this way both that are in the origination they are same in it so because of this reason there are five parts causes five present effects five present causes five future effects five past causes are ignorance craving clinging foolish informations and karmic force Five present causes are Vinyana, Consciousness, Nama, Roba, Mentality, Materiality, Sanayana, Six Phases, Hasa, Kondak, Urena, Feeling. In other words, they are five degrees only. So because of the rising of past five causes, present five degrees arise. Because of the present five causes, future five degrees arise. If you understand in this way, we can say you understand the very origination. This the very origination is Samuriya Sitya, the noble truth of suffering. The noble truth of the origin of suffering. These two noble truths, Toga Sitya and Samuriya Sitya. The noble truth of suffering and the noble truth of the origin of suffering are called formations. These formations are the object of vipassana. You must contemplate them as nature or toka or naga. Such karma legally. One day when you are inside knowledge become with you are. At the day, at the end of you are inside part and fruition knowledge will arise. That part and fruition knowledge will realize nibbana as object. Hmm? That nibbana is the code but noble truth, the noble truth of the path leading to this, the noble truth of the cessation, cessation of suffering, hmm? you know that subject. But at the day, but knowledge is associated with noble evil path. This noble evil path are called the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. So do not in brief, I want to explain noble eightfold part. Hmm? Number one is samadhi. Samadhi they translate right view or right understanding. Number two is samasangapa, right thinking. Number three is samawacha, right speech. Number four is samagamada, <coughs> right action. Number Number five is Samba Ajiwa, right livelihood. Number six is Samba Wayama, right effort. Number seven is Samba Sadi, right mindfulness. Number eight is Samba Samadhi, right concentration. Altogether, Noval Epon Pa. If we divide this Noval Epon Pa into two, there are two types of noble eightfold paths, Monday and Subra Monday. In this Mahasri Brana Sota Buddha emphasizes only Monday noble eightfold path. In Monday noble eightfold path, what is Samadhi? Right understanding. Buddha taught in this Mahasri Brana Sota, Dukhi Jnana. Toka Smuri Jnana, Toka Nirodhi Jnana, Toka Nirodha Gamini Yavri Vraya Jnana. The knowledge, the knowledge of noble truth of suffering, the knowledge of the noble truth of the origin of suffering, the noble truth of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering, the knowledge of the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. These four types of Knowledge are called samadhi, right understanding. So, if you want to fulfill or to follow noble eightfold path, then number one, you must try to understand these four types of noble truths. Among these four noble truths, number one and number two, noble truth of suffering and noble truth of the origin of suffering, these two are the object of vipassana. When you are Contemplating these two types of formations as nature to another. Sama Sankaba always applying these two objects. 
อนิจจนิจจอดุกะนิจจอนัตตานิจจอ this formation these two noble truths สมาวัยมา is right about to understand a n i c h a n i c h a t u k a n i c h a n a d a n i c h a of these two types of noble truths. s a m a s a d i is always mindfulness on this n i c h a n i c h a t u k a n i c h a n a d a n i c h a of these two noble truths. s a m a s a m a d i is right concentration. At that time, this s a m a s a m a d i is v i p a s n a s a m a s a m a d i But before v i p a s n a s a m a s a m a d i Buddha taught s a m a s a m a d i as ทัศน์สกินทัศน์ตัศน์ผู้ทัศน์ Based on these ทัศน์ if they practice four elements meditation s y s t e m a t i c a l l y they can clearly see this a l i m e n t mental and material d e p e n d e n so because of this reason สมัชชาทัศน์ also p u t a t o t สมาสมาธิ as สมาสมาธิ but in this case when they are contemplating with us now at the day สมาสมาธิ means The concentration on the nature, nature, d o k a nature, or another nature of these four, two noble truths, d o k a s e j a n t s m u r i a s e j a This concentration is called samasamadhi. This is momentary samadhi, k a n i g a samadhi. While you are contemplating vipassana, before you are practicing vipassana, usually you observe precepts. You abstain is from wrong speech. Abstain is from right, wrong action. Abstain is from wrong livelihood. These are morality, three the training of morality. So based on this training of morality, you practice s a m a t a c h a n a s Then you practice vipassana. At the day, noble e i g h t f u l p a t s are present. To understand this noble e i g h t f u l part, when you are contemplating with us now, when you are inside knowledge become which you are at the day, again you must also contemplate your inside knowledge as nature to God and other. When you are contemplating your inside knowledge as nature to God and other, there are 34 mental formations. 34 mental formations are always associated with your inside knowledge. Among these t h a t i f o there, there are s a m a d i t i s a m a s a n g a b a s a m a w a y a m a s a m a s a d i s a m a s a m a d i These five noble, noble parts are always present. So at the day you will understand these noble parts. Again, sometimes you must contemplate s a m a w a c h a s a m a g a m a d a s a m a a j i v a right speech, right action, right livelihood. These three noble parts also you must contemplate as nature to God and other. They they are also always rise above the cognitive process and with associated mental formations. At that time also you will understand these three types of noble truths. So when you are contemplating with us now, you can understand Monday noble e i g h t f u l p a t When you are inside, become which you are one day. At the end of you are inside. But i m p r o v i n g knowledge will arise, which realize nibbana as object. Hmm? At the day, but knowledge is associated with noble e i g h t f u l p a t h These noble e i g h t f u l p a t h are s u b r a m a n d i noble e i g h t f u l p a t h At the day, samadhi is right understanding to the nibbana object. s a m a s i n g a b a is. Obligation of the mind to the nibbana object. s a m a w a y m a is right effort to understand the nibbana object. s a m a s a d i is right mindfulness on the nibbana object. Right mindfulness of the nibbana object. s a m a s a m a d i is right mindfulness of the nibbana object only. At the day, s a m a w a c h a right speech, s a m a k a m a d a right action, s a m a a j i v a right livelihood. These three are also present. All together, they are noble e i g h t f u l p a t h These noble e i g h t f u l p a t h are called s u b r a m a n d i noble e i g h t f u l p a t h 
So do a do a day Subramani Noble in full part. You must try to fulfill Monday Noble in full part. part, part. Hmm? So after the we was not inside Victor Mejua and then we was not inside Subramani Noble in full part. Right. So all together there are four noble truths. Without understanding the, these four noble truths, one meditator can realize Nibbana or not. Can just try or defilements or not. Huh? Maybe at the beginning of our tomato, huh? we cooked it one soda. Huh? Uh, so I clear soda. Huh? I'm going to recite this soda again. Huh? Again, I say, again, because I say that. The destruction of the day, the dates, is for one who, who knows and sees, not for one who does not know and does not see. For one who knows what, for one who sees what, the destruction of the day, the dates comes about, comes about. For one who knows and sees. This is the noble, uh, the destruction of the days comes about for one who knows and sees. This is the noble truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the, the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Because it is for one who knows that. Who sees that it is for one who sees that that the destruction of the days comes about. Therefore, because an exaggeration should be made to understand this is no way true of suffering. An exaggeration should be trying to understand. An exaggeration should be made to understand. This is the no way true of the origin of suffering. An exaggeration should be made to understand. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. In exaggeration, in should make to understand. This is the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. In this way, put that thought. Hmm? So, because of this reason, without understanding of four noble truths, one cannot attain rahasip. If one cannot attain rahasip, one cannot be a noble one. So please try to understand full over truths. To understand full over truths, how you should write this? Again, again, I had been told. Hmm? I had told. Samadhi bhikkhu bhavita, samadhi do bhikkhu bhikkhu yata bhuta bhajana bhikkhu develop concentration. A bhikkhu who is concentrated understand the tamas as they really are. But tamas he will understand. He will understand that this is the word truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the but hidden to the cessation of suffering. And this we put that thought. So please emphasize concentration also. Based on concentration, please just an ultimate mentality, material in their causes, contemplating as nature to God matter. One day, when you are inside Vedam with you, you may realize Nibbana by your part in Christian knowledge. May all of you at the Nibbana very soon. <laughs> <laughs>
So all together in Guyanese Martinez is and that put that dot pudding ways. In the same way, another is within a new person session, another is taking a new person session. In the man new person put that dot session. Number one is pipe new run up session, entrance session. Number two is six cents basis session. Uh, and number three is pipe grade session. Number four is seven enlightenment factor session. Number five is four nova troop session. All together they are. Uh, Seven, one, one, five, 21. 21, 21 sessions. Each session, whether you are practicing Kayani Vasana or maybe any session. At the beginning, for example, Anabana, at the beginning, you must have an Anabana of the fourth jana, it is true. But based on fourth jana, again, you must try to design ultimate mentality, ultimate materiality. And then they are causes, and then you must contemplate them as a nature to that matter. If you can do it in this way, then you get a deep hardship. So, another session one also that. At the beginning, Buddha emphasized only Gaya, Rupa Gaya. Although Rupa Gaya alone cannot, uh, uh, if you contemplate <coughs> ultimate materiality alone, you cannot realize Nibbana. Because of this reason, you must also contemplate ultimate mentality as nature to God. When you are contemplating mentality, here yeah, are. Uh, Three ways. Number one is you may emphasize feeling. But feeling alone cannot arise. Feeling always arises with associated mental information. So if you emphasize feeling, then you, you should also discern associated mental information. But feeling arises depending on base. Without base, feeling cannot arise. Without object, feeling cannot arise. Base and object are ultimate materiality. So, if you emphasize feeling, then ultimate mentality, mentality, all are included. In the same way, if you emphasize consciousness, you can emphasize consciousness, but consciousness always arises with associated mental information. To show this meaning, Buddha says in Chaitanya Nupasana, Saragama Chaitanya Saraga Chaitanya Nupasana, the consciousness would craving, you must try to understand. The consciousness with craving, etc. In this way, for that hmm? So, associated mental formations also in much case, they also rise depending on base. Taking materiality as object. So, object and base are ultimate materiality. Consciousness and associated mental formations are ultimate materiality. So, same. Hmm? Then, five Greek mother, five generations mother, six uh, dwell. Six sense space method, hmm? all are nearly the same. So, in every case, in every session, if you practice systematically and thoroughly, you can attain Nibbana. But, Buddha explained in conclusion if you practice in this way only, not other ways, <laughs> if you practice diligently in this way, within Seven days eh, or within seven years, you can realize Nibbana. You can be a Nagami or you can be a Arhat. In this way, protector. But this is as a missing man. Hmm? And one so that, like Bodhi Raza Kumara, Chokda, Buddha says, if he admonish one disciple, he can be a Arhat in the evening. In this way, also protector. So, because of this reason, this is Mazima only. So, if you write this according to Mahasri Branda so that way, hmm? you may realize Nibbana. Okay. Any question? Any question? So, uh, it's not a question, it's, a, it's an appreciation. You've come all the way from Burma to teach us this path of purification leading to liberation. And teaching this full understanding of the true Dhamma, 
in our language and also transmitting with Holly the real Dhamma. Mm. So this is historical and profound and the gift of truth excels all other gifts. Thank you. Any question? <laughs> no question. <laughs> you can discuss openly, no much problem. Hmm? Many questions, that's not finished, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a question. <laughs> I, I, I would just like to make a gift, if, if I may. And so I have a couple things I'd like to say, if it's okay. Um, I'd like to dedicate the uh, um, Rupa Kalapas in that, in that projector <laughs> <laughs> uh, to uh, Venerable Pa Aksaida. Uh, the teachers uh, and monks uh, and nuns of Pa'ak Monastery. Uh, and I want to thank you for presenting the teachings of the Buddha in such a pure, sweet, and funny way. <laughs> uh, I want to thank also Sister Dipankara, she's not here, of course, uh, Venerable Sudha, Sudhamachara, and Sister Susila for their fine teaching. Uh, I thank Kim, Robert, Astrid, and Sergio for providing essentials, uh, and the yogis who helped me make progress, and everyone else for providing a supportive environment, and Dr. Kwang Wu for driving me to Santa Rosa today in his rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'd like to uh, share uh, uh, merit with everyone here, uh, with my father and those in the lower realms and present this uh, projector to you. And I don't know if we can set it up quickly, but I can just show you a brief picture of some tropical birds, if you'd like. see the pictures. Yes, but it's going to take a few minutes. It comes with a three-year international uh, service. <laughs> so if you have a problem, you just call a, a number, and they'll find a place in Asia to, to, to uh, support it. And you can see the projector is only three or four feet away from the screen, and the screen is about that size, and, and the maximum is 15 feet wide. This computer is a little slow, so we have to see if, if, if it's going to take a few minutes.
Uh, Did you, Robert? Just turn it on. Yeah. Is that for the new year? The ones from the first day are in another disc. Sahat, Pancasila, Pancasila, Gemaya, 
Yajami, Kama Yajami, Nugahan Kadawa, Nugahan Kadawa, Sihan Deta, Sihan Deta, Mibande, Mibande, Diambi, Diambi, Hambande, Hambande, Israni Nasah, Israni Nasah, Pancha Sila, Pancha Sila, Kama Yajami, Kama Yajami, Nugahan Kadawa, Nugahan Kadawa. Sivandeta, Mibande, Mibande, Adiyambi, Adiyambi, Hambande, Hambande, Isanina Saha, Isanina Saha, Pancha Sila, Pancha Sila, Namaya Jami, Namaya Jami, Nugahan Gadwa, Nugahan Gadwa, Sivandeta, Sivandeta, Mibande, Mibande. Bajema, Bajema, so, so, 
punya baga, sang punya baga, lebih dua, lebih dua, suki hodu, suki hodu. The meaning is that I transfer my merit to my ibadat para. He may regret this merit. Eh? He may be happy in this one. Okay. Thank you.
Because of this merit, because of this Hosanta Mass, you may be protected by all Devas. May you be protected by all Devas. May you be all. Their day to day life, what they've tasted on retreat, how do they um, keep the practice going and is it possible to deepen the practice in ordinary life? They can maintain their concentration it may be possible. You may learn it's very difficult to see because we have many duties. So because of this reason, as far as they can, they should practice. In daily activity, there may be many wholesome and wholesome demands oh, will be welcoming. So when a whole son of us are coming every day, please quickly neglect, neglect. How you should neglect? Sabri, Sankara, Nija, everything is impermanent. <laughs> this is a good way. Hmm? Yeah. This is one reason. Another reason is <coughs> you should always reflect the danger of a whole son of us. They will produce to be reborn in four whole states. Always remember this. So in this way, uh, reflecting this way, you should neglect any wholesome mass. As far as you must accumulate wholesome mass, how you should accumulate? If you are practicing anabana, as far as you can, you must pay attention to the anabana object only. In daily life, it is not easy for higher concentration, but. Sometimes you may have any opportunity to sit. Hmm? Other than you may be able to concentrate your meditation on, on your meditation object. So some persons among this hmm? meditators so are successful. Partially, partially may some meditation may be successful. Hmm? At least two or three hours a day they should meditate. To maintain this concentration on. If they cannot do, there yeah, are many problems. <laughs> many problems if you do not remember this meditation. Meditation object also will not remember to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural. So, as far as you can, you should maintain your concentration not to fall down. Hmm? But daily activity is very difficult. But or daily activity, if you understand a bit of it is very helpful. Hmm? Or this is a whole son I must not accept this a whole son <coughs> This is a whole son I must accumulate this whole son In this way, you can distinguish. If you do not understand what is a whole son or what is a whole son it is not easy to reject a whole son and to accumulate whole son because you do not understand. So please try to understand oh, this is a wholesome dharma, this is a wholesome dharma. I must reject this a wholesome dharma, I must accumulate this wholesome dharma. In this way you should have such strong confidence. Such type of confidence is until it really is very necessary. Hmm? So please try as far as you can. Hmm? Okay. 